This is Ahmad Afridi and you are watching Ahmad Afridi Official. Today we are talking about a 30 degree rule in filmmaking. So what is 30 degree rule? 30 degree rule stipulates that if you are going to cut between two angles of the same person or the same subject then you need to move your camera at least 30 degree between cuts. Also, if you are filming the same person or a same subject with two cameras at the same time, then you need to make sure that those two cameras are at least 30 degree apart. If you don't follow the 30 degree rule, you end up with what is called a jump cut between a scene. This can be quite distracting to the viewers. It can draw their attention out of what is happening in the scene. And this is definitely something that we as a filmmaker don't want to happen. Just look at this diagram if you have two cameras and how you place them according to the rule. अगर आप 30 डिग्री रूल को फॉलो नहीं करते और इससे कम एंगल पर कैमरा प्लेस करते हैं तो आपका व्यूअर्स को या कट थोड़ा जर्की या फिर थोड़ा एनॉइंग लगेगा इफ आई ब्रोक द 30 डिग्री रूल नाउ व्हेन आई कट बिटवीन द टू शॉट्स द इफेक्ट प्रोड्यूस्ड अ जंप कट एंड दिस इज वेरी नोटिसेबल वन वे टू फिक्स दिस वुड बी टू स्केल अप द सेफ्टी शॉट एंड मूव इट स्लाइटली टू द राइट यू विल लूज क्वालिटी यूजिंग दिस मेथड but if you are only going to use cutaway to cut mistakes or link section of the interview, you might be able to get away with it by only showing it for a few seconds and then skipping back to the main camera shot. Look what I mean to say. If you don't have a space to move your camera 30 degree, you can shoot in the same direction with both cameras. Just make sure you zoom enough in one body of the subject and then maybe the second shot just have their head and shoulder. This should help you to avoid the jump cut if you are filming an interview and you want different angle but only have one camera. One method that I have used in the past is to film the entire interview using one angle and then switching the angle by more than 30 degrees. And conducting the whole interview again now this is a long process and it really does depend on how much time you have and how long interview is. If you are shooting 4K resolution, then you can adjust, drop it down to 1920 by 1080 and then take a zoomed in shot of your subject as one shot and zoomed out as a second shot, as a wide shot and then mix between two angles without losing any quality. If there is any more content around the filmmaking or videography that you would like to see in the future, let me know in a comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel Ahmad Afridi Official. I'll see you guys next time. This is Ahmad Afridi. Thanks for watching.